Creating and selling a digital product could bring into your bank account a couple extra thousand dollars a month. Who wouldn't want that extra money, right? So I wanna share with you three tools that could really help you create and sell your digital product. And if you don't have any ideas for a digital product yet, make sure you watch this video where I give you 15 easy ideas. Now, when it comes to creating and selling a digital product, you really only need three things. And before I share with you the tools I use, I want you to understand you don't need anything new to create a digital product. I highly encourage encourage you to use whatever software, whatever programs that you currently have and make that work for you before investing in something new. Because when you do it, it's probably going to cost more and it's going to take you a longer amount of time to figure out. So again, it's just going to elongate the amount of time it's going to take you to start getting that couple extra thousand dollars in your bank account each month. So the three tools that are going to be critical to creating and selling a digital product are your email system, a payment collector, and then a way to make that digital product. Let's dive into that. Now, in my next video that I'm going to be releasing, I'm gonna dive into more of the tech behind setting this all up. I'm gonna walk you behind the entire process that I went through for planning and launching my most recent digital product going video and show you all the creation and tech steps and everything in between. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel because you're not gonna wanna miss that video because I'm literally pulling the curtains back and showing you everything. But like I said in this video, I want to share with you the tools to start creating and selling a digital product today. Now, I'm going to share the tools that I use because I just get asked all the time here on my channel and I encourage you to find a solution that works for you. I'm not going to say mine is the solution. If it is fantastic, but use what you have. So the one tool that I'm probably in the most every single day in my business is FGF, Funnel Gorgeous Funnels. If you watched my last video, I dove into all the mistakes that most people make when creating a digital product. And those mistakes included adding bumps and one-time offers to increase the average cart value of your digital product. So taking a typical $37 offer and maybe adding a $17 bump to get that up to almost $50, right? For my current $37 offer, my average cart value right now is around $45 because I have people adding the bump on and people adding the one time offer, the $97 offer for my editing course, Editing for Conversions. Now, the reason why I bring up FGF is because they make it so easy to add these on. So I'm not a tech person by no means tech me. Yeah, uh, but they make it super simple to add to your checkout page like this, a bump, and they make it easy for you to add that OTO. In fact, they even have templates to, again, make it as super simple as possible, especially for non-techie people, because this is what's really going to increase your cart value and help you get to those couple thousands of dollars a month for a digital product. So this is how simple it is, right? I have my sales page, and then here on the purchase page, in my products that are offered, I can add in my actual going video product and then I can add in a bump because all you do is you hit add product, search for your product right here and then additional options is it is a bump product. When you add it as a bump product, when we go to this purchase page, I'm gonna show you how it shows up. So again, we'll go to this purchase page. I need them to go ahead and enter their name and email address because again, if you watched last week's video, I talk about how important abandoned cart sequences are and this is how I'm able to send them emails. They fill this out, they go to step two to get the price and then I can easily add this bump right in here because Funnel Gorgeous already has the capability all the tech, the, the technological stuff that goes on behind the scenes to make adding this bump incredibly easy. The same thing with a one-time offer. I can add it right in here. Super easy. So as soon as they go to the purchase page, the next thing they're going to see is this one-time offer. Now, FTF also has a membership site where you can house your digital products. You can make like a course platform inside. All of my courses are hosted inside of FGF. So again, it makes it a little bit higher value for your digital product when you can have this customized, nice looking platform that people can log into to get their digital 
neutral product. Like I said, that's part of FGF. It also does a lot of other things in my business as well, like scheduling. Instead of using Acuity, I can use FGF. I can create different automations. So if somebody purchases this offer, I can add a tag to them or I can automatically add them to a funnel. It's just a lot of tech stuff that is made a lot easier. And before using FGF, I kind of felt like all of my systems didn't really talk together and this way it does, which makes selling digital products a heck of a lot easier. And it has allowed me, like I said, to get to multiple thousands of dollars a month because of the streamlined system I can set up inside of it. So if you are curious about checking it out on your own, I do have a 14 day free trial for you. Go to trinalittle.com forward slash 14 days. Can check it out, see if it's something that you wanna use. Like I'm saying, I'm not pushing this on you. I use it, it has allowed me to get my cart value increase. It has allowed me to really streamline selling my digital products as well. So I would just wanted to give that along, that 14 day free trial for you to just see if it's an option that may help you out as we walk through these different tools that you need to start creating and selling your digital product. Again, you can try it for 14 free days at trinalittle.com forward slash 14 days. All right, let's go back to creating, actually creating those digital products and how you're going to make one. You wanna create something really simple. You wanna make creating this digital product easy on you and easy for your customer to receive it from you. Remember in the first video that I created in this series on why you need a digital product and why you need to be solving one problem for one person? Your digital product doesn't need to be this epic life-saving thing, so we don't need to be over thinking about what we are creating to sell for this digital product. Again, I'm gonna talk more about how I ideated, created, came up with, recorded, edited, set up the entire funnel for my digital product in the next video. So I'm gonna save that for then. But I wanna share with you the easiest tools that you can use to create a digital product. And the Google Suite is honestly the best place to get started because everybody that is using the internet can access Google things, as in Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. Yeah, you could create like slide deck templates to sell to people. In my 15 digital product video idea that I created a few videos back, I talk about swipe copy and how you can use Google Docs to deliver that. I talk about how you can create dashboards and Excel spreadsheets for people. You can do that inside of Google Sheets and make it super easy to deliver to people by just sharing a link. Other tools that you can use to create a digital product would be Canva. You can create templates right inside of Canva and you can share the template link so that they're not getting access to what you created and editing and changing it around, you just share with them the template link and then they can do what they want. They can customize it, change the color, but you can sell it by using just that link. Going video for me is really sold on my Asana board. So I just export the CSV file and then people can upload that right into Asana. You can share Trello board templates as well with people. Click up CSVs, I believe as well. Again, make it super simple for you to share. This doesn't need to be like a life-changing course here. It's just solving one problem for one person. Now, I know you heard me mention make it simple so you just have a link to send out in an email, which brings me to this third tool that you really need to have to create and sell a digital product, and it's an email system. Before we go to emails, I forgot one more tool that you can use to elevate the value of your digital product. So if you wanna create a video tutorial or video walkthrough of how people can use your digital product, you can use a tool called Loom, and I believe you can record up to 10 minutes for free, and that allows you to screen share. So you could literally walk them through how to upload your CSV file or how to use your Canva template by using Loom. You can also, like I said, if it sticks within 10 minutes, I believe, for free, you can then download that video and house it into a course platform site like FGF so that you would have a tutorial video as well as the link to download or get access to whatever template that you have. Now, if you don't want any particular course platform, I'm going to show you a free way that you can share all the important links you need to get to people in an email.
So instead of needing any kind of platform to deliver a digital product, you could do something like this. Now, this is all of my automations that I have set up in FGF, but the key piece here is the email. So when this email goes out, if you can just come in here and let's say here is access to your tutorial video. All right, so we would go ahead and add that. You could go into your Google Drive folder where you're hosting all of this. So for example, I'm using this one right here. This is the video that I created, okay? So what I would wanna make sure is I want to share this. I wanna get a link, but I wanna make sure it's viewer only. Copy link, all right? Then you're gonna come into your email platform, highlight that, add the link, okay? And then you could say, and grab your handbook here. So again, we're gonna go into our Google Drive folder. This is the handbook. You're gonna just make sure that you're gonna get the link. Viewer access only, copy that link, add that link right here. So now when they get this email, so we'll send a test email right to my inbox. Here is that test email. So all they need to do is click here to get access to your tutorial video. Takes you right here to watch it. And then grab your handbook here, takes them right to the PDF where they can then download. That's how easy it can be for you to deliver a digital product through email. Which now gets us finally to email. You really need to have some type of email service provider if you're going to sell a digital product and you wanna make a couple thousand dollars from it. I've mentioned FGF because again, I can link everything right in there. I can link this email that they have for FGF with my products and my checkout and all of that tech stuff. I don't have to, you know, create this additional talking piece or this link or this, you know, zap so that my payment system or my email system talks to my checkout system, right? But there are other options and many of my clients inside of 10 Count Replay use an email service provider like Flowdesk or ConvertKit. And each of those email service providers allows you to link like your PayPal account so that when somebody makes a purchase, it's already linked to your email account so that your email will automatically send out those links like I showed you earlier in an email. This is really important because you don't want to be doing this manually. And when people buy something from you, they usually want it right then and there. Trust me, if something's not working in my tech and they purchase going video and they don't immediately see the email that they have access, maybe it went to spam, maybe it went to their um, trash, I hear from them. When they purchase it, they want it immediately. And if you're at a dance recital or it's 1 a.m. in the morning, you don't wanna be getting online to get them that email to the links that they need to access their digital product immediately. So let me show you something like ConvertKit, how it allows you to link PayPal. So this starts your road to passive income because this all should be working without you needing to do anything. But let's be real, true passive income doesn't really exist. But that's a video for another day. Okay, so far we talked about how you can create a digital product using something on Google like Google Sheets or Google Docs using Canva. We also talked using an email system so that you can get access once they purchase to their digital product. That could be FGF, that could be Flowdesk, that could be ConvertKit. Now let's talk about a payment system because you need to get paid. Now the most common one that we hear is PayPal. And PayPal is a great place to get started, but there are some more fees that PayPal takes out of your revenue. And the one kind of hard part about PayPal, it, it's a double-edged sword, but generally, if there's a discrepancy or a dispute on a purchase, they weigh in the favor of the purchaser. Good for you if you're a purchaser, but if you're a course or a digital product seller, it can be kind of a pain because what people do, because yes, there are shitty people out there, is they will buy your digital product that is cheap, they will download it, and then they will dispute the charge and try to get their money back. Yeah, this absolutely happens all the time. And with PayPal, nine times out of 10, they're siding with that purchaser. 
So they're basically going to be getting your thing for free. Now, with a payment system like Stripe, they are a little bit more even in ruling for the purchaser versus the seller. Because I have a refund policy very clear on my landing page for my digital product and my checkout page for my digital product, I usually win when there is a situation like this because I just screenshot it, I show how I've laid out my refund policy as a digital product, and most of the time I get to keep my money. Now you do have to pay to use Stripe, but like I said, it gives you as a seller of your digital product, of your personal IP, a little bit more protection than something like PayPal. All right, so we have all of these pieces of your digital product plan. In my next video, I'm gonna walk you through a complete tutorial for how I created, set up, and sold my most recent digital product going video. Make sure you are subscribed for that video when it releases, and if you still need some digital product ideas, make sure you watch the video that's on your screen right now where I give you 15 digital product ideas.